The details of President Biden and Kevin McCarthy's deal to increase the U.S.'s $31.4 trillion debt ceiling came out on Sunday, now placing the ball in the Congress's court. The bill must pass through the House and the Senate before the 5th of June deadline. I strongly urge both, both chambers to pass that agreement. And it takes uh, the threat of catastrophic default off the table, protects our hard-earned and historic economic recovery, and the agreement also represents a compromise, which means no one got everything they want. The deal would raise the debt ceiling for two years until after the presidential election with an estimated debt increase of $4 trillion. It would cap increases on budget spending previously planned by the Biden administration and toughen some requirements for access to government aid. The 99-page bill will need a simple majority to pass through the House before moving on to the Senate. But the text includes compromises which neither the hard right nor left are likely to support. Several Democrats criticise the spending freeze, whilst hardline Republicans, with their zeal for austerity, say they'd prevent the bill from passing in the House. This deal is insanity. A $4 trillion debt ceiling increase with virtually no cuts is not what we agreed to. Not going to vote to bankrupt our country. The American people deserve better. But Kevin McCarthy dismissed threats from the opposition, claiming that over 95 per cent of House Republicans were likely to vote for the deal. The bill will be voted on in the House on Wednesday, which could then send it to the Democrat-controlled Senate.